Yo, this is how you know your life is pharaonic When you can look in the world and see the down you can walk With multitudes and multitudes of infinity in store Keeping your spirit soaring high like head on that you cause You are the one in the matrix that is the pharaonic Gods on the planet, Kepara and Herubede Christ expanded, renaissance in effect Third eye in effect, fifth dimension in effect And this is how you can check, cause you're wearing pharaonic Chill! This commercial is brought to you by Morocco. New adornments for the new gods. Yeah, you on the air, my brother. Islam, Islam, Hotep, how you doing? Islam. Oh, uh, you know, tell the people, man, who you are and what you represent in the music business. Uh, that's what's up. Well, my uh, attribute is Jehudi Kepra Asaru L. Um. On the music side, I roll with uh, Wu Tang Harlem Six, and uh, we've been, uh, you know, throwing out some music to the public for about about seven years now. You know what I mean? Um, you know, as you stated, we, uh, you know, come from the lineage of uh, Gangstar first, and uh, you know, Primo and Guru, and uh, you know, pretty much, man, just trying to continue. You know, it's real hip hop out here. You know, there's a lot of lot of bubble gum going on right now, so you know, we're just trying to keep that God body energy going. And, uh, you know, hit the people with some, you know, with some hot hip-hop joints, you know? Yeah. So as you just listened to, that's what, that was my single from off this new album I got called Eyes of a Key. See, we okay, need all that I'm... conscious rap out there, something positive. You know, we don't want them kids be going out there shooting and killing each other over some, some rap music that we done did. And then Europeans, the first thing they say, we the one um, put that rap song and made them do that. You know what I'm saying? They try to blame everything on the hip hop thing, but yeah, that's what yeah, that's true. what that's what we got to do. We got to come out with that conscious, put that knowledge in that music. Exactly, Mundo. Exactly, Mundo. Yeah. So tell people, man, with these other projects that you're doing, especially this new um, record that you're getting ready to come out. All right. Well, basically, uh, <clears throat> this new project is called Temple of Jehud, and um, you know, we this is a. Uh, this is, uh, you know, like our second follow-up. Our first album that we um, released two years ago in 2012. It's called Revelation 14.1. So uh, basically, what we um, what we are doing is following the original path and structure of, um, you know, how Wu Tang manifested itself in the physical. You know, what I mean, we came in as, uh, you know, in the Voltron form first. You know what I'm saying? All together. And then right now, we're getting ready to do that individual thing. You know what I mean? And drop these individual projects this year and next year. So the Temple of Jehudi is um, my individual project. And uh, on that project, I um, have two never heard tracks from a guru that I produced with him, you know, when, when I was, was engineer for him, um, you know, back in like 01 to 05. And uh, we also have uh, Killer Priest on the album and uh, Wu-Tang Harlem Six, of course. And uh, some more artists that I'm uh, doing some work with between South Carolina and New York. Uh, uh, a chick from Atlanta as well, and um, pretty much, man. You know, this album here is uh, definitely going to be something for the for Wu heads to definitely digest. And uh, what I mean by that is, this is going to be a different type of album for a producer coming out with the first time. And what I mean by that is that I'm going to have like 30 joints on this. You know what I mean? Um, as a, like a trifecto, three major chambers. You know what I mean? And um, Pretty much with that, uh, you know, we just gonna drop this comedic science, man. You know what I mean? And um, pretty much uh, looking at it is uh, like when Shaolin meets Kemet. You know what I'm saying? Like we coming at it with that twist, like taking the sciences that you know that the Wu came out with at first, the God Body Sciences, Nation of the Gods of Earth, and you know we just adding everything onto that to where we are now with the science of Kemet. You know, the further we take it back in knowledge, the further we can you know take this stuff and manifest it now and and create that future. So pretty much, um, you know, this this album is going to be a, a, a project of love, you know what I mean? I've been uh, actually putting it together for a few years, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, now we feel like it's time to go ahead and put that out. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a banger right there, something to definitely look forward to, uh, you know, for like uh, July, August of this year. Like, this, this is going to be, uh, you know, it's the latest August that we're going to drop it, but, you know, it could possibly be July as well. Yeah, see, some people that's listening... Don't know where the, where the word Kemet come from. That's the original name for Egypt right now. For some people that I don't know. But who inspired you to do what you do, though? Well, um, you know, I've been I've been doing the knowledge since I was like uh, 13. Um, 
when I was, uh, you know, in South Carolina, a brother by the name of Knowledge Bond introduced me to the sciences. His brother worked for my father. My father uh, was a famous DJ down in South Carolina, so his brother worked for my father. And, you know, we kind of grew up around each other a little bit, and then one day he just introduced me to the, you know, the sciences of the gods and earth. And, um, you know, that intrigued me. I was always into spirituality and, you know, studying the universe and, you know, science and all that good stuff. So when he introduced that to me, you know, it really connected in my soul and like threw that light bulb on, you know what I'm saying? Initiate that third eye. And uh, from there, I just kept building. I, um, you know, I then uh, studied um, under Dr. York uh, and uh, I, I came into the fold there uh, when we were in the phase of Ansar Allah. So basically, um, you know, I studied um, under that for, you know, years, as well as, uh, you know, reading about other religions and learning the creeds of other religions and ways of life, you know what I mean, and spiritual paths. And, uh, you know, over the years, it pretty much led me to Kenneth, where everything is obviously going to lead to. The, the more studying you get to, the further you go, going to go back in time to that singularity. And, you know, right now, where we stand in this point in time, Egypt is that, you know what I mean? And um, so... Pretty much that's how I came into the knowledge and uh, pretty much, it, it, you know, with the music and everything, it's always been a, 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 a avenue for me to shoot that back out, you know what I mean? So basically that's, that's my main thing is, is music and, and knowledge. So, you know, the two go hand in hand. So basically this right here is like a culmination of everything that's been going on with the God, you know what I'm saying? With music yeah. and, the, and the sciences, you know, for the last X amount of years. So, you know, that's my yeah. path to how I came into the light. Yeah, but, but hold on for a second. I want the people here to walk with me. Let's do it. This is a beat shop production. This mad rules to this game. Yeah, I'm talking to you. No, niggas gon' hate you for whatever you do. True. That's why we always keep the burners in reach. They don't want the black chief to teach them. Let me talk to you. It's like these niggas want to shit on my name. Don't have a clue of what I went and just to get in the game. Nowadays, we're men and murder for this capital game. It's the truth. The 120 money never can change. The heart of true soldiers with vision beyond tricking. Play your part of feel the rap and the low and the bold kicking. We glisten like the skin of the slave. The only difference we gon' kill you cops up is this ain't back in the day. So look forward to us locking it down. The flow hits you like a calico. Toe in your town. The walk with the road is rough. Nigga, try crossing my lane. I got a bunch of Brooklyn soldiers that are folks. Well, the fiddle, your fame, the drugs that you serve to the babies Don't get it twisted over safety, but crazy, I keep it real yeah. Believe me that your cows can see it, so what's the deal? Yeah. Understand what I spit is no gimmick, it's how I feel I spend nights on the strip, count, spin it to mail My niggas is never sleeping, keep the weapons concealed I'm from a land of sick cops, with chicks flock Playing big shots, where niggas pitch rocks like swing shots It's all hype, get your weight pop, you think not? We can get the clapping like flip flops And my whole fam is nothing but God Living the laws, man so you wait five to just the mirage Talk with me niggas I will show you who's in the game You young soldiers don't remember my name And let me talk to you niggas Life ain't all about playing It's all over going out with a bang Walk with me, niggas. I'ma show the rules of the game. You young soldiers don't remember my name. And let me talk to you, niggas. Life ain't all about playing. It's all over going out with a bang. It's over. I'll be that real type brother. You can tell him I walk. I'm for the struggles in the streets of New York. I got my head up. But some the warnings to blow. I tell you, it's a setup. Still got no love or hope. So be composed. Keep the babies while they take a picture. And hope they always remember to study daily education. It's richer to my killers walking green. Now, I know you're innocent, play over proper dough, we'll break them all up to me now. So you can eat, and I eat, and we can drink, and I live. We're all in, but would you die for the kids? I don't think so. That's why we gon' let your shit sink slow, let you live, so you can strike again. I don't think so. I'd rather die knowing that once it's a pain in the change, than making my mom's level stuck and flipping the game. Give it up, you average rappers, cause we're switching the game. But you thought cutting had a right in front of your face. There's only a few artists really earning their pay. We rap about stuff, we're raising dealing with pain. No more than punches, we percussions if you get in our way And if you rush and if we bust and I suggest go Hey Ayo, we come through, all tinted, whipping in the bourbon Hurting the wax, open up the track like a surgeon Your coat flows is worthless, you speak cursed My slugs will wrap up, you don't like a turban I pull up, hop out and pose on some bullshit on purpose Then put it in the next pose I furnish Since a young nigga, I've been running the streets Stuck in the heat, your life you'll be lucky to keep Walk, walk with me, niggas, I'ma show you who's in the game You young so you don't remember my name And let me talk to you, nigga Life ain't all about playing It's all over going out with a bang Walk with me, nigga I'ma show you who's in the game You young so you don't remember my name And let me talk to you, nigga Life ain't all about playing It's all over going out with a bang It's over It's a big shot Production of
Yeah, this is DJ Black from DJ Black Radio Show. Still got my main man on the, in the interview, man, with the conscious rap. Man, the five of sinners, man, you know what I'm saying? I was in more science. But the five of sinners, man, all, I did all them brothers in there because they seek that knowledge with them, knowledge and understanding. What made you get so deep into it? Well, you know, as I said, I, um, you know, was always on a spiritual path as a child. Like, I obviously, you know, came to this planet to, you know, gain enlightenment and further that, you know, in my existence and experience. Um, so, you know, as I said, uh, uh, you know, the God and I was born, um, you know, started building with me and teaching me the lessons. And it just, you know, sparked it off to where, all right, this is what it is right here. I, you know, I got to get on it like this. Because obviously growing up in South Carolina, it's a heavy Christian, you know, Baptist and Pentecostal background and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, after a certain age, my parents didn't really make me go to church like most stories you hear. Oh, you know, I had to get up, go to church. Blah, blah. I didn't really have to do that. Like my parents respected me and my wishes at an early age. But I feel that, you know, now it probably was just the universe you know, working in my favor for the experience I was to have here on this planet. So when that time come, you know, they just backed off and let me uh, do my thing, you know what I mean? So I was lucky enough to have, uh, you know, open-minded parents that, you know, let me make my own decisions at a very, very early age regarding, you know, my spirituality, you know what I mean? So basically, you know, it's, uh, you know, just the right words were spoken, man. When it's time for you to, to, to wake up, the words will find you, the message will find you, you know. So I was ready, the message came, like God ignited and you know, here I am. Yeah, just like in the more science, we could say it all, thought is the cause of everything. The the thing about this song, Walk With Me, is uh, Black Jesus behind that too? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, the leader of uh, of all the things. Yeah, um, so who who came up with the uh, concept of Harlem Six? Well, uh, Black Jesus and his brother, AGR, um, they uh, basically you know, read the story of the Harlem Six, you know, because that's really a story of uh, six brothers, I think, uh, like, three uh, Moors and three uh, uh, lighter Moors, we say, you know, Puerto Ricans and Spanish guys. And uh, yeah. they were accused of a crime that they didn't commit. You know, they went to jail. So it was like the, the Gen of Six before the Gen of Six, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So basically, um, you know, they, they were born into the light, first off. Let me see that. They were born into the night, light, into the nation of God on earth. They're like the first, um, you know, children to be born that have God by their names from the beginning. Like their father was a, a, a high official in the nation of God on earth. And, um, and actually, since I'm saying that, then Riz's father was also in the same position as Black Jesus and GR's father. So, you know, years down the line, that was the, the essence connection to where we really got with Wu. You know what I mean? Because you know, Riz remembered his father, and, you know, just after talking, you know, it came down the line, you know, hey, you know, let's bring them in, you know what I'm saying, we out, they was out there walking their dogs, we out here walking our dogs, so they respected that, and, you know, brought us under, you know, under the Wu flag, you know what I mean, um, but basically, uh, the um, Harlem Six is uh, the story of um, six guys that, you know, were accused of a crime they didn't do, and, um, you know, it, it, they were vindicated on it, and pretty much, um, from that point, they just felt like, you know, they're from Harlem. You know, let's rep that concept of, you know, turning around the community, you know, taking the drugs off the street, you know what I mean? Um, you know, all the stuff that goes along with that. And doing it while talking at that street level, you know what I mean? So basically, it follows the essence and structure of what Wu-Tang did. You know, they came in talking science, but they really, really put it on the street level, you know what I mean? The Nation of Gods and Earth is pretty much the same thing. That's like a spinoff from the Nation of Islam, right? Which is like, you know, kind of prim and proper, if you want to put it that way. And, you know, the father, Father Law, brought it down to the street level, you know, spoke in that lingo and got the science across. You know what I mean? So pretty much, um, you know, we're just trying to keep history alive with that, with that title, you know what I'm saying, with Harlem Six. And uh, to also say, hey, you know, injustices are always going on out here. We, we got to keep on the grind. And right now, you know, we're going through that right now. Trayvon Johnson, um... I mean, Martin and uh, Jordan Davis, you know, and others, you know what I mean? So it's, 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 it's always going on. So basically, we just want to keep that energy going and uh, give the guards from back in the day, Hall of Six Props, you know, and do it like that. Yeah, because see, right now, like in the uh, rap game, they they be promoting the sex, the drugs, the, the violence, and, and all that other stuff, and guns and all that stuff. And how much money they done got, and they have a $100,000 watch on it, putting all these rims on their car. 
it's more different than that because you talking about uh, material stuff, stuff that's dealing with the lower self. But when you start coming with the higher stuff, then everybody start thinking it's a whole duck. But see, it's, 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 you got to have a change. A lot of people got to change, you know what I'm saying, in order to get into that light, you know, because, you know, that darkness is, you know, is keeping them there. But once they get that light, then they can be able to see. But that spiritual knowledge, you got to put it out there. And I think that's what your crew is doing. You know, yeah, exactly. And, um, back to the, our spirituality, what we was from the beginning of time. Exactly. You know, we spirits having, having a human experience. Um, and, uh, like, okay, well, I guess another thing that I could also mention to spin off of what you just said is that um, I also have another uh, uh, organization that's called Kim West. <clears throat> and basically, uh, Kim West is, you know, the culmination of all the stuff that we, that we spoke on and uh, I guess, like, capping it all with the Morris Sciences. You know what I mean? Because... Mm -hmm. You know, the more sciences is basically the foundation of everything. You know, what I mean, even yeah. back in Egypt, it's that 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 science of love and cultivation and civilization that everything was built off of, and that's what more is all. We cultivate us, we're civilizers. You know, we are the beloved. You know, what I mean, so um, with the organization Kim West, uh, you know, I'm just saying that this is Kim into the West right here. It's always been Kim into the West. It's the North Gate. It's Northwest Africa, or Al Kibbalan, since Africa is not you know what that continent actually is. So, um, you know, with Kim West, it's, uh, it's like the side of what we're doing with Wu-Tang Harlem Six, where it's, it really gets deep into the metaphysical sciences. You know what I mean? Um, so on the music side, well, how we doing it, you know, like I said, we might come a little bit, little, bit, little bit rough with it. You know what I'm saying? Might have to use a couple, you know, street scenarios. But in the, in the, in the, in the essence of it, the science is there. And for those that get woken up by that or hear that message coming out of, the, out of that concrete, rugged hip-hopness, you know what I'm saying? Then they can swing right over to Kim West, you know what I mean? And uh, pretty much start taking that intrigue that they might have, you know, gotten from a line that they heard in the song to the next level. So pretty much we try to bring the whole package, you know what I mean? We're bringing it on, on the street side, but then on the other side of it, you know, we totally, you know, got the situation going on. was like, hey, this is the path to the light right here. You know what I mean? As we learn... We put it out there so others can learn, you know what I mean? And we can all, you know, lift up humanity together, which is the whole, you know, issue of where we are right now. It's more, like you said, we got to turn this around. We got to change it. So, you know, uplifting humanity is to be done in any way, shape, form, or fashion, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we ride the waves of music, so that's how we, uh, you know, choose to do that. And I guess the way the Internet now, you know what I mean, since that's pretty much the main, uh, you know, uh, vehicle for disseminating information. So, yeah, you know, we just try to, you know, do that holistic thing with that. Yeah, so the thing about the record label is, uh, I know the record label is 100% behind you, but do sometimes the record labels feel like they might lose some money putting out this, this conscious science type rap? Yeah, well, I mean, it will obviously because that's what you hear mostly on the radio. Um, but with the way we uh, actually came into the game, like we really walked our own dogs. Everything we have gotten as a group was because of, you know, what we're doing ourselves like we're like the representation of the all coming out of the void or coming out of the so-called nothing we're like self-made so anytime we've been doing deals with labels we've done more of a partnership you know what i mean like except for one time we released actually released our first single um on universal records called ode to the woo that situation was a little bit more traditional on how things go down with labels but that was a real short experience. We only had to deal with them for one single. So, you know, it was a little bit crazy. But it wasn't nothing that we could handle, but it gave us a learning experience. And pretty much anything after that that we've done, you know, label-wise, you know, we keep a partnership going so we can have the say in what's going on and get the higher percentages of, you know, the royalties and the merchandising and the publishing. So, um, you know, right now, we, we you know, we kind of had that under control. We have our own labels as well, so there's always joint venture business deals going on with the other companies that work with us on putting these projects out. So we don't put ourselves in the position where we, at, where we ever have to possibly sell our soul, if you will. You know what I mean? Um, so that was like the major lesson we got from Guru, major lesson we got from RZA. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we carry it and... We intend to keep it that way, <laughs> you know what I mean, so that, so that we could, you know, put the music out that we want to put out and not have to worry about, you know, what Sally Joe or, you know, Bob is going to think about what we're doing, you know what I mean, like, it's not really about their sciences, not to say that, you know, it doesn't help them, but we want to put out the music that we 
are about. You know what I mean? And the best way to do that is to, you know, have your business together and deal more in a business aspect with these labels than uh, label artists. Because label artists is default slave. You know what I mean? But if you're going as a partner, then you're a partner. And that makes it better for you, you know, as a musical artist. Yeah, because there's two sides of the music. You got people put the poison out there to the mind, and you got the people put the healing type stuff. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And the thing about it, a lot of record companies, you know, for the healing part, they be trying to, the powers to be, be trying to stop you from advancing with it. But mm -hmm. now since Obama, the President of the United States, and he said time for change, a lot of people start waking up. Now it could be accepted now in this day of society. Exactly. You don't have to struggle and, um, so much now because you got the Internet, your power now. Exactly. And uh, well, uh, this, this period in the cycle, you know what I mean, is like it was in the late 80s when it was going into the 90s where, you know, Hip hop was more conscious of that higher consciousness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, this is it's happening again. You know what I mean? Um, because there's a lot of artists out there that are that have mastered uh, being an artist that has something to say without having to sound like conscious hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes conscious hip hop can just not sound, you know what I mean, like other songs, so it, 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 it doesn't catch on. It still has to have an element of music with dance and people can enjoy it, you know what I mean? So it's like a lot of artists out here now are starting to balance that once again where we're making good music that everybody can listen to, and if you are tuned for a message, then it's there for you. You know what I mean? It's like a whole, uh, you know, God hop movement right now going on um, with artists like Stop Rock, uh, Star I Am, Kill Ripken, uh, Ty Phoenix, Naruby Sella, you know what I mean? Like a whole bunch of us yeah. out here right now. So, yeah, um, but I have to stop you because I, I show, my show is getting ready to end. But give your shout outs and tell them how to get you on your Facebook and everything before we get ready to close the show. Alright, uh, that's what it is then. So uh, in, in order to get at uh, Wu-Tang Hall of Six, you can uh, check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash Hall of Six. Uh, for Kim West, you can go to facebook.com forward slash Kim West. That's K-H-E-M, as in Mary, W-E-S-T. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of other um, stuff going on. So Twitter, you can uh, also, you know, uh, twitter.com forward slash Harlem 6. And for Kim West, uh, twitter.com forward slash Kim West. So pretty much those are the main avenues you can get at us. So, you know, check us out, get at us, you know, peep some of the videos, share the content. You know, this is a uh, new millennium woo shit right here. So, you know, that's what it is, man. And uh, thanks for having me uh, on the show. Okay. Peace out, man. I got your back, man. All right, God. I'm going to play the games of forever right now. All right. That's what it is, then. Islam. Okay. Okay, Islam. We're going to use the maneuver around, but with the knowledge and understanding we have now, we're going to show you, even in what, even in our hood attitude, we still spiritual people. All right? We understand that beyond anything else, we are spiritual, having a human experience. Yeah. That's what it is, y'all. Now, yeah. Jesus is God, I see y'all out there building, throw your hands up, all of six is in the building, Wu-Tang, nigga, gang star lineage, living how your consciousness means, we're gone forever, protest devils, I see your 120s is holding up, brick the bomb, brick the kid, what kid, what we're building up with love, truth, heat, So this is peace out. This is DJ Black from DJ Black Radio Show. Peace out.
like a boss Do the damage, broke the cost It's bang, bang, booming Superhuman This commercial was brought to you by Morocco New adorn, Morocco 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 Morocco